Gonna get a beel a, a wheelbarrow. A real. Good lord! I'm going to get a wheelbarrow to move all this stuff. <gasps> Can't even speak. Hi, it's Signa from Sign of Horses, and finally we have some sun! Oh my god, it's been raining for days and days and days. At least it feels like that. Um, but today's my day off, and the sun is shining, and I finally got the vlog uploaded, which uh, took a while, because, because of technical difficulties. I don't know, YouTube just didn't want the vlog about Shay on today, so... See, please. You ready, buddy? Airplane coming. Yeah. You wanna go inside, buddy? Let's go. He pretty much knows his way around here because he's been at these uh, stables for over 10 years, I think. Um, and that is going to change soon. Oh, it's really, really uh, difficult for me to leave a place that's so familiar to me and to him and um, go somewhere else. But I think it's the right choice. Where are we going? Stay tuned. I'm gonna do some work with Shay while Bliss is having his food. And she already golfed her down, didn't you? Yes. Now, saying goodbye to this place um, might mean having to say goodbye to Shay. I won't miss the barn noises though, messing up my vlog. That's something I won't miss. Hey, sweetie. Yeah. So, I'm not gonna say that this is our goodbye training session. No, this is just a barn vlog, uh, which happened to have Shay in it. That's it. know why I'm nervous it's not like um, I'm never gonna be here anymore I can always visit visit Shay maybe visit the other 
peoples and horses in the stable. This place has been my home for a couple of years. Years. Um, it sort of happened. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and I guess it's like moving house. Uh, you, you, know, you know every tile and every crook and every nanny. Crook and cranny. Nook and cranny. Good lord. <laughs> in this place. You know the puddle where you can wash your feet. A puddle where you can wash your shoes, I have to say. You know how to drive there almost blindfolded. And that's all going to change. And that's a good thing as well. Good morning. Today is the day of the move. It's weird. It's, it's, I'm just moving your horse from one barn to another shouldn't be such a big deal. And I've been thinking on it why, why for me it feels like a big deal. Because it's just a feeling. It's, it's my feeling that makes it a big deal. There's nothing big about it. It's not a huge organization. It's not a huge thing. There's, it's, it's not a big problem. It's not a problem even. So between work and my house, the barn is the third place that I would call home. And I guess that is why it feels like such a big deal to me, this move. Because I am actually moving homes. I'm not just rehoming my horse, I'm rehoming myself as well. I'm gonna drive a different route to the barn. This move also will have this this move will also affect my my just my daily things i mean usually i do my groceries before or after i go to my horse so now i will do my groceries at a different store <laughs> and for all you routine lovers and ocd people you know how big a difference that can be i have to explore a whole new store and that's also the thing uh, that makes it exciting to move i um, change will always change your life. I know it's a weird sentence, but changing your environment or changing your daily routine will have an effect on your daily life. And I think change is good. It's the it's why we learn. It's how we learn. It's how we adapt. It's how we uh, grow and develop as human beings. But it's also how your horse grows and develop develops. Remember that. If, if we all love routine. Routine is the basis where you build your trust and your comfort on. And then to change the routine is how you expand that pl platform of um, relaxation and trust and comfort. So, all in all, this move, this tiny little moving my horse from one place to the other, has this profound uh, meaning and uh, thought behind it. I'm at the barn, by the way. So I talked all the way from home to the barn. I'm gonna load up my car with all of his stuff and wait for Itika to arrive because Itika is the one who's going to move me. Where are we going? That is going to be a surprise. I'm going to say, that is for me to know and for you to find out. But that's sort of like a corny sentence, so I'm not gonna say that. I'm gonna surprise you about where we are going. time mucking up the stable. Goodbye stable! And now it's time to clear out this monster. Not the white one, but the one next door. The one that's open. Why do I have so much stuff? Uh, 
Are you practicing for when you're ancient? <laughs> for when you're ancient You just grandma. had to go there. You just had to go there. I know, there. I had to go there. <laughs> <laughs> you old lady. <laughs> if I'm ancient, I'm hoping I have a war. It works though. It works. You probably get synthetic legs by that time. I mean, when we're ancient, the world is ancient too. Yes. Lizzie, say goodbye to your buddies. And say hello to your new buddies in a second. Okay, bye bye buddies! Bye bye buddies! Bye! Bye bye village we know so well We are almost there and you can s No, I'm not sure if you can see it, but I can see it in the distance The new location so it's not going to be a secret anymore for very long. I can give you a hint, a clue, which is going to <laughs> make you guess it immediately. But Itika knows this place very, very well. And um, I have been there before and Bliss has also been there before. There it is, that is going to be our new home. These horses are going to be his new buddies. Hello new buddies. And this is where we are going to be. It's not a surprise anymore. It's the Varan. It's where Itike and Twist and Jeroen and Jackie live. And it's going to be Bliss's new place. Yay. That's going to be his new herd and they're all youngsters and of course he has to meet the neighbors as well. behind in this new place but that's what a good mom has to do when your kid is going to a new school you have to leave them behind and let them sort themselves out with their new friends and I'm gonna see him again tomorrow um, just have a quick look while I drive past uh, yeah he's sort of standing there on his own by the fence looking sorry oh god my poor heart oh my poor baby yeah so that's he has to sort that out for himself and make friends and make sure that he feels at home in his new home and for me I've come to the conclusion that um, it's pretty simple home is where the horse is that's it home is where the horse is If you like this video then give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends to subscribe and release your inner picking